So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with our next contest. This is the super heavyweights, and what a weight difference we have here. 30 kilograms with Astran Gashi from Belgium weighing in at 125.9. That's nearly 126 kilograms. Facing the Turkish fighter, Sinan Kagali, at around 95 kilograms. So, the power difference is going to be huge. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's what heavyweight's about sometimes. And one shot can finish it. There's a huge size difference, Ernesto, here. That's a big size difference, yes. And if you take the kicks on your legs like that, then... You're going to fall over. Then you'll be in <laughs> trouble, at least. He's standing southpaw already because he got a few uh, now he needs, already. He needs to get out of that corner, be mobile, yeah. and try and tire his opponent out. Mm -hmm. But actually, those combinations are great uh, from the Belgian fighter, Azran Gashi. Yeah. Now, I'd like to see the Turkish fighter on his toes. Don't get caught in the corner. Be mobile and let him chase you. That was a nice overhand right, though. Yeah, he tried it before already. That, those moves can be possibilities for him, but if he's standing in the corner like that... He's not going to have... He, he hasn't got a chance to set it up either, has he? Exactly. Oh, I mean, there are always chances. Well, if your name's Ernesto Hoost, yes. <laughs> I mean, you're one of these crazy guys. You could kick someone in the head without leaning right over you, literally with no distance. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Well, it was there. Magical moments. Really magical. The memories that you and the other guys gave me will, will be there forever. So thank you for that. Well, thank you. But back to this fight, Ernesto, and the Turkish fighter there throwing... Whoa, those low kicks. <laughs> the low kicks are very hard. Yeah. And he's, he's he made some good moves. Uh, but he, I wonder if he can cope with the, with the weight difference. Oh, good low kick. Ooh, and he, can, he cannot take uh, too much of no. force. They're going to take their toll. He's going to go back to the corner. Yeah. We've got 30 seconds of the first round left. And if he, if he finishes this round, he's going to go back to his corner, rest. And when the second round starts, we're going to see if he moves that leg properly. He's, it looks like he's limping already. Yeah, he is. But he got hit at least three times already by a much heavier opponent. And it's surprising that he would take a, a fight at this weight. Um, yeah. Giving away 30 kilograms when he could drop down quite easily to the next the next category. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But sometimes it's also what what do they offer you and um, and and if you get a good offer financially or and also realizing that to fight on a platform like this can yes, open doorways. Exactly. So yes. So you you might take the chance. I understand that. But he took a lot of low kicks. And really, looking at those replays, Gashi yeah. from Belgium looks like an absolute giant yeah. stood in front of Kagali. Well, he is. <laughs> but I don't, uh, that doesn't say that Kagala doesn't have any chances. For sure he has chances, but he has to take them. Yeah, it's like we were saying earlier. Does he go on a suicide mission and risk getting knocked out to land that big bomb of his, his own? But he's got to be more mobile. He's got yeah. to move. he got to move and he got to work. He has to, he has to do more because if you're mobile, it's okay. But now you're in the, in the, in the corner. He's going to get the, in kicked the, again. In the, ropes, in the ropes, you cannot do so much. Would you change stance here? If you're, you're having that lead leg kick like that, would you change to, to a southpaw stance? I have no idea. I could take a good, I could take a good kick. So uh, I never did. I did it 
uh, out of uh, technical reasons, but not never because it was necessary. Uh huh. Yeah. And was that through conditioning, through sparring, or, or just? Yeah. I, well, I sometimes. Um, I hope I can tell the story. In 1999, K1, I, I expected I expected to fight with only South Pole fighters. The first was Andy Hook, the second was Jerome uh, Le Banner or Peter Arts, and the third one was uh, uh, Krokop, uh, Musashi, uh, I don't know now. And I thought it would be uh, Andy, Jerome, and Krokop, and it, and it was like that. So I trained South Pole for two months, mm -hmm. and ever since I am able to, to, to fight South Pole if, pos if necessary. Uh -huh. But you'd probably recommend every fighter to uh, to have that for sure. skill. Yeah. For sure, of course. And karate fighters oh, can punches. do it. Yes, good big punches. He's getting backed into the corner. And it's Gashi smells oh, blood. Yeah. Some big bombs. A lovely knee being landed. But his leg, oh. the Turkish fighter's leg, was outside the ropes yeah. there. It's a good move for him. Uh, it, took, it gave him some time. Mm, interesting little tactic. <laughs> <laughs> I never but saw it. No, but I don't yeah. think he did that on purpose. No, well, no, no, we no, don't I don't know. think so either. And Gashi leaning on on uh, the Turkish fighter. There's that kick again. No. And again. He can't take much more of these. And I'm wondering what. What uh, Sinan Kagali's corner are telling him? Mm -hmm. I can't hear much noise from them, but they must be giving him some uh, encouragement. Yeah. Even to return the kick, a yeah. guy the size of uh, Gashi, yeah. you know, if you're mobile, mm -hmm. surely um, Kagali can be landing kicks of his own yeah. and moving away. Move yeah. in, move out. Yeah. That you would think. Uh, but he's standing there. He is he, not. He's not defending the low kicks that much. No. And, uh, and taking the shots like that, it's... Yeah. It's punishing. But well, it's we punishing and it's, and it's admirable that he's still standing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean that. I mean... So uh, there's the end of that second round, which again has to go to Astrid Gashi from Belgium, the giant in the ring here at the moment. Yeah, I, I do think that, uh, that 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 Gashi should should have done more to try to stop stop him to stop his opponent already. But uh, and Kagala Kagala tries does tries his best and, uh, and and still hanging in there. Yes, yeah, full credit to him. Like you say, yeah. he's taken the fight, yeah. which you know he knew that he was going to be outgunned and outpowered. Yeah, and. But bravery, you know, let's give him full credit, as you say. But no. we've seen it in the past with uh, huge fighters getting chopped down like trees yeah. with a low kick. Yeah. But you can't get backed into a corner. You've got to use your movement. For sure. Boom, get in there, yeah. stick it in there, and get back out again. Yeah. Final round. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, if you stand like that against a, 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 a bigger opponent, You're taking the, taking the punches and the kicks like that, yeah, then you're looking for trouble. Yeah, movement and stinging punches and kicks were Kagali's weapon that he should have had at the beginning of this fight in his yeah. game plan. Yeah. But he's fought the fight as if he's fighting someone of equal weight and equal power. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's got backed into the corner too many times. And as you say, it, anyone else who's taken those low kicks from someone so big would have been hobbling around. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see it coming. Yeah. Well, he's, he's quite brave. He still tries to fight. So we've got two minutes left. Without a shadow of a doubt, Astrid Gashi from Belgium is ahead. But Sinan Kagali is still in there. He's still fighting. Yeah. Oh. And he's throwing bombs too, so... 
I mean, Huge one mistake, one mistake uh, from Gashi, and you never know what Absolutely. happens. Absolutely, and we don't know what his chin's like. Exactly. And he, 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 it, well, Sam Greco there, getting annoyed with the fighters for um, clinching and stalling the fight. I mean, for a 125 kilo fighter, you have you have to give Astrid Gashi credit for being so mobile. Yeah, that's very true. And he's fighting smart also. Now he's going for the for the for the rear leg. Yep. So the front leg he killed already, and now he's just done. <laughs> now both legs. Yeah, now he's doing both legs. So basically, that's good a good strategy. And I'd love to see him against someone his own size. That would be a battle. Well, that would be interesting because now now it is a, a, a weight a weight fight. And uh, I'm not sure if he's that good when he when he fights with somebody who's some somewhat heavier who repays the gesture of those kicks exactly he checked that one but <laughs> was probably hurt yeah he is he's punishing that rear leg now yeah. but i think with 20 seconds to go and he fair play you oh, said it to ernesto yeah Kagali's still there. Yeah. Look at him, he's hobbling now. He really has felt that punishment from yeah. those kicks. Last 10 seconds. And Kagali, I'm sure, would have gained fans here today for his bravery alone. Yeah, yeah. yeah Look for at sure. That. I mean, that big uh, of uh, weight difference. Wow. I gotta uh, say, it's been a long time yeah. since I've seen that many low kicks. Let's hear a big round of applause. But Sanan Kigali is going to have to take a couple of days off his morning runs. <laughs> because yeah, he maybe his job too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what his job is, but... Wow. I think he will have some problem uh, walking uh, the, la the, 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 the next week. kilograms in weight. Not 10 or 20, but 30 kilograms. That's like a little dog. Or child. So, I think we okay. know. We go to the judges' scorecards because the fight went it the looks distance. Like we have the official scorecard from the judges, and it is a unanimous decision. The score goes 30 to 27, 30 to 27, and 30 to 27 in favor of the blue corner, Azrin Gashi. Yeah, and I think that's a fine performance for a fighter of his size, Ernesto. Yeah. But Sanan Kagali leaves the ring as a bit of a minor hero, really, for oh, the taking moral, such the moral, punishment. The moral winner, maybe. Yes, exactly. Because he... Um, He's still he stood, smiling. He look. stood there and, uh, like I said, I don't know how he will walk tomorrow, but uh, he's standing here like a man, like a real man and uh, like a real fighter. A warrior. A warrior. A senshi warrior. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, exactly. So, there we are, fight number six on this international combat sports spectacular here in Varna, Bulgaria. And we were mentioning Ernesto just mm -hmm. now that Bulgaria, Eastern Europe, really yeah. is becoming a hot spot for combat sports and martial arts. Yeah. And I think they love here, they, they quite like the idea of the Budo ethic, the sportsmanship, honor and respect.